Welcome CX Today. My name is Charlie and today I'm delighted to be joined by Jean-Nicolas Robitaille, Vice President of Product Management at Computer Talk. Jean-Nicolas, thank you very much for joining us. How are you doing today? I'm doing quite good, thank you for having me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it's uh, good to have you uh, come on and um, join us. And uh, we've got a really interesting discussion today where we're going to be talking about uh, how a business can better run their customer uh, communications through Microsoft Teams. Uh, so we're better to start than by asking what challenges do customers that leverage uh, Microsoft Teams for their customer communications face? Yeah, very good question. So there are three challenges that we often hear from customers. Uh, the first one is having separate user interfaces for unified communication and the contact center. So for some agents, having the soft phone in, in the team's UI and the contact center agent view in a different UI is irritating because it requires them to toggle between the two. So at the same time, other customers prefer to have teams as their contact center soft phone because their employees are already used to that interface. So it really comes down to the agent's preferences. The second challenge we, we hear a lot is um, is merging these internal chats with the contact center chats uh, in the Teams interface. So both internal chats with their peers and past and current chat with the contact centers and I would show up in the Teams view. So this makes it difficult for people to distinguish between the two when looking back at their historical uh, chat conversation. And then the third one is the Teams resiliency. Um, so because Contact centers are often considered as a critical service and they must meet you know, high service level agreements. So Microsoft Teams is a great solution, don't get me wrong, but it can promise 100% uptime. So customers want a backup solution that is lightweight and simple to activate. Mm -hmm. So in conclusion for these three points is each customer is unique. What is challenged for one might be okay for the other. So contact centers aren't one size fit all. Yeah, I think I think that's uh, I think those three key challenges there that you've uh, pointed out are very uh, some that those contact centers that you leverage Microsoft Teams uh, will likely face within their operations. And I know at Computer Talk you have uh, your new uh, a new soft phone offering. How will that offering help those businesses overcome those three challenges that you've uh, set out there? Yeah, we're very happy and excited uh, to roll out our soft phone. So we basically we built our soft phone with the previous uh, mentioned challenges in mind. Um, so our new soft phone name, Ice Phone, allow agents to handle both voice and chat within our uh, you know, Ice Bar UI. So doing so separates the contact center chat from internal chat versus your contact centers. Uh, it's also a two for one because it simplifies the handling of both voice and chat all within our own UI. So in addition, Ice Phone is a lightweight soft phone that doesn't require telephony installation to work. Uh, we build Ice Phone so that it can be primary or a backup uh, for the contact center, which basically is a solution for the third point we mentioned, resiliency. Excellent, I, I think, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's great and it makes me think you know, how can a contact center use your new um, soft phone in tandem with their Microsoft Teams certified contact center? How can they, how can those two things uh, coexist? Yeah, very good question. So, I mean, we're a Teams certified contact center. So therefore for us, it was a must requirement that our soft phone can coexist with Microsoft Teams. So, as I mentioned, Ice Phone can be configured as a, either as a primary or backup solution to either voice or chat. Uh, it's really like you can do a mix and match of what you want. You could potentially have your voice on Teams, your chat on Ice Phone, or vice versa. So really, for us, was important that our soft phone is really versatile and works uh, can coexist with Teams. Yeah, excellent. Um, that's excellent. And you know, we've we've talked quite a lot about um, the soft phone and how the challenges that contact centers face when leveraging Teams uh, for their customer communications. Um, how else is Computer Talk helping brands to best optimize um, their native team's offerings? 
yeah, we're, we're proud to be a team certified company and we invest a lot of effort and time in, you know, bringing as close integration as possible. Um, we have many features such as, you know, Direct Connect, which is the Microsoft Teams direct route to uh, cause their Teams uh, agents using the managed SBC, uh, which is much faster and more reliable than the Federation. We have the present syncs, which enables users to uh, see the presence of the co-workers uh, on Teams. Uh, we have the Microsoft Teams search, which allows you know, again, the agents contact centers to uh, search the active directory of the company to you know, see present sync, transfer or conference anyone in there. We even have a variant of our agent toolbar, which we name Icebar for Teams, which is a uh, set of schedule built within Teams uh, to handle the contact center interactions. Uh, we also can have alerts to you know appear in Teams. We can have a reporting sent to a Teams channel, and you know, many more uh, features. Um, excellent. And just picking up on those kind of many features um, that you uh, put in in that last answer there. Um, you know, we've talked a lot about uh, voice, the voice channel, a lot in this conversation. Um, but maybe let's now consider the omni-channel uh, contact center, as that's kind of the goal uh, many service operations are aiming for. Is it possible to run uh, an intelligent omni-channel contact center uh, within uh, the Teams interface? Yes. So the ICE contact center can handle voice, email, chat, SMS, and social media. Now with the addition of the ICE soft phone, uh, we would give additional flexibility to our customers to really, I guess, mix and match the uh, Teams UI with the uh, computer talk soft phone UI. Uh, so, for example, you could have all the interaction going Teams, so your voice would go there. Chat, SMS, and social media also are sent to Teams. Uh, kind of the it's, for the agent side, it's converted somehow. Like, it feels like a chat conversation, and then I takes care of sending out as either SMS, social, or uh, or chat, depending how it came in. As for emails, it could you know could go to Outlook, which is within the, the Microsoft suite. Or if you go up to have the ice for Teams built in, uh, it then gives you the ability to reply to emails within the Teams interface. And as I was previously mentioning, with the new cell phone, you can also mix and match. So I guess if someone would like to have um, their phone go to Teams, they can do that. And then they can decide to use the ice phone UI to handle multiple chats uh, or vice versa, I prefer to have the ice phone with voice and chat. So to go back to my previous mention, the like customer centers are not one size fit all. This is really, uh, I guess, a key thing for us. And we've always built our offering with flexibility and the ability to customize exactly to the customer's needs. Excellent. And I, I will, for everybody who's watching, I'll put a link in uh, to the uh, full ICE contact center so everybody can check that out as well as the soft phones specifically uh, as we've started this conversation by discussing. Um, but I think maybe that's a great place to end today's um, chat. It's been fascinating to uh, talk uh, through uh, the ICE contact center and all its, com uh, and all its con capabilities uh, with you, jean Nicolas. So thank you very much uh, for joining me today. Hey, and thank you for having me. Have a good day. Excellent. And uh, also thank you to everybody for watching. Bye for now.